uh, we're an unusual organization, I want to say, which is not quite a think tank and not quite a do tank, but it's really doing three things. Research and analysis, as you will see tonight, uh, in covering uh, some of the most fraught areas in the world, looking at illicit markets. Secondly, convening people to look at responses to, to uh, organized crime globally, and we are doing that in a variety of ways, uh, bringing people together from a range of constituencies. And thirdly, we've increasingly begun to run <coughs> programs in the field, both collecting uh, data, pricing on illegal markets, and a range of other initiatives. And we ourselves have a fund uh, which supports uh, civil society groups. So we ourselves are providing small grants to a range of civil society organizations around the world, uh, building resilience within uh, communities uh, uh, to organized crime. Uh, organized crime and terrorism are seen as one challenge when they're not. Organized crime needs to be seen as a challenge within its own right. There needs to be an international prioritization of, of the, the effect of organized crime on the region itself. The, the proliferation of tramadol in the region is a major health issue that needs to be dealt with primarily before it's dealt with as a, as a, as a criminal issue, as a health issue. The, the period post-2011 marks a sort of adaptation and reconfiguration of actors. Basically, we, what we have seen is that most of drug trafficking uh, networks switched from alliances with corrupt uh, authorities in the north and jumped into alliances with armed groups, but also jihadi uh, groups in the north. We've seen this in, in Gao, uh, in, uh, in Kidal, but also in, in Timbuktu. And the third, of course, is to work with various regional organizations, for example, in Africa with the EU as well as the AU, to coordinate in such a way that we don't overlap and we try as much as possible to build up synergies to deal with the issues of serious organized crimes, drug trafficking, human trafficking in a coordinated manner. We are working on that way and I think we've reached uh, a point where at least we agree to agree on a lot of things and strategies and issues. And we're working still to develop concept of operations and uh, regular contacts sharing of information and intelligence through our various VTCs, meetings, coordination mechanisms, not only in the headquarters at New York, but also through the regional organizations and in our missions. And I think we're getting there, especially in Mali. We are trying to get our act together and maybe hopefully we will reach a point where we can say that, yeah, we're making a difference. <laughs>